What's up guys? Laying down on the couch, grabbing five minutes of rest, and I figured I'd shoot a little video. Just hanging out here with the dog. She's on the other couch. Lacey. Yeah, she never listens. Um, anyways, I've been doing tons of research on rainbow fish, and the reason is because I finally want to pull the trigger and get some rainbow fish. Except the next problem is what rainbow fish do I get? I have come across some Australian rainbows, and the reason I have my eye on them is because I don't want to get a super expensive rainbow fish at the beginning, essentially, because this is one of the cheaper rainbow fish in the industry. They range from 3 to $5, at least local to me, and uh, I have some video footage. I found some at a Petco. My fish, my local fish store doesn't have any of them, but I found some at a Petco. So I've been eyeing them up, and I guess I would do a little species spotlight on this fish because I'm thinking about getting some of these right now. And I, I did some research and um, hours of research because I like to do that when I'm diving into new fish. And I know that rainbows are super popular right now because it's like rainbows are essentially like a... A larger guppy fish they're just stacked with coloration and personality you get schools of them and they're just so colorful all right guys i'm gonna quit blabbing let's talk about the australian rainbow fish all right guys the australian rainbow fish and yes this is at my local pet co and here is the tag they grow to four inches water temps 72 to 82 they're peaceful schooling and their care level is easy and what's cool about the Australian rainbow fish is that they're so sturdy. Like just said in the tag, 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a huge range for tropical fish. They are home to Australian waters, obviously. They are one of the cheaper rainbow fish on the market, but that's probably because they don't have as much coloration as a lot of the others. They caught my eye because they are cheaper, they're super sturdy, and they're still a rainbow fish, essentially. And when they do hit that 4-inch mark of adulthood, they do get some more coloration. I should also mention how important it is for rainbow fish to be in groups. And I would advise to buy 5 or 6 or more. I will probably personally buy like 10 of them just because I've seen tanks stacked full of rainbows. And they just do so much better in larger groups. Like I was saying, I did some heavy research in rainbows and I came across Gary Lang's videos and he advises that these fish are actually getting protein rich diets in their natural habitat. And a lot of people are thinking they're more of a herbivore fish, but he finds that feeding them more protein rich foods gives them more of that coloration, like feeding them brine shrimp and blood worms, and he goes one day without feeding the fish every week. That kind of just lets the fish fast out and gets everything through the system. The last important note I'm going to leave with you guys regarding rainbow fish is the fact of how much they love plants, and live plants are always the best. It's really common for people to use live plants and just have a huge school of rainbow fish, and that is super common in the planted tank lifestyle, and just, yeah, they love them. I don't know, guys. Do you think that the Australian rainbow fish would make a good first rainbow fish for myself? It's a tough choice on which ones to choose. I know a lot of people just keep them together. Steen Fott Aquatics absolutely has an amazing rainbow fish tank, and he got his hands on some Gary Lang rainbow fish, which I don't know how he did it, but um, not all of us can do that. Like I said, I can only get my hands on these Petco ones. My local fish store doesn't even have them. I could get an Aquabit, I guess, and buy some there, but... Let me know if you have any tips and tricks for keeping rainbow fish. If I would like to hear from you guys if you're feeding Gary Lang's protein-rich diet or else if you're more on the herbivore side because, I don't know, it's kind of a touchy subject with rainbow fish. I don't know. I guess now that I've spent my five minutes of relaxation sitting on the couch actually doing a video, I guess maybe I should just get back to work on setting up the shop.